Hello, this is Star Giant. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another video on Gashi Impact. Today it's going to be on Aito. It's going to be about the build and artifacts set on him right now. Uh, before we get into the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell side, and watch my latest video like this one. And uh, besides, I actually didn't, I forgot to do this uh, part on the last video. But uh, my last video is it's a 10 minute long video, so. I'm thinking to probably consider it pretty long. It's pretty long if I add in, in another one. It's gonna be another 10 minutes. But yeah, pretty boring. You're gonna just, just watch me do everything else. So I decided to do a separate video. I'm actually gonna do another video on Ayato uh, when the um when one of the stream comes out talking about him. Then yeah, I'll be doing one full video on him. Then uh, yeah, get to where we're going. But for now, we're gonna do an artifact and build on him right now. And I actually am going to plan the live streaming um, on uh, on the event on Gashin Impact that came out. But uh, I had to wait until like 4 or 5 or 4 more days until it, the full release comes out. And uh, I'll, do the, I'll do the whole thing in one live stream. So, before we get, so like I already said, let's get into a video. And he's going, this, is, this is the way I do it, and then the guy can have better understanding of it. I'll, I'll probably have to zoom in uh, during the editing, so yeah. So for I Ayato right now, the best build I'll actually see is guys, it, it, he is uh, more of a DPS type build, so I'll actually go on the DPS first. So DPS build, I will go hard up to the stress. This going to be the... Okay, that's not accurate. It's not very accurate here. Okay, so it's so basically it's going to be two pieces going to deal in uh, hydro damage by 15%, and you have four pieces. After using an elemental skill, nor increase normal attack and charge attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. And in order to know for Ito, um, he uses elemental skill like can he actually can count that like three times. So after after that, you can increase your normal attack and flinch attack. But the still though, the thing is like um you can't use your charge attack during that state, but you still can use your normal attack. But your normal con attack will convert into hydro damage. But with with this uh, with the four piece there, you're you're going to do more damage than expected there. So I say this is would be one of one of a good piece to build four pieces. But for me, I would because like for some of you like you want to deal more um. You guys want to do like more elemental skill damage than two pieces of uh, Heart of the Step here and uh, two pieces of Tendon of the Millet. It will increase at 20% HP. Like I already mentioned in our video already. You guys have not seen that other video, go ahead and watch that too. But uh, you can watch it here too. So you can like hit hit. You will actually increase more damage based on how much. It's going to do like bonus damage. Um, depending on how much HP you have, current HP you have, and that will actually stack up if you have your talent uh, level. If you have your talent two, your second passive talent. If you have that, if you have that unlocked, then you will actually deal a lot more damage with the with the stack there because it will stack two after you use your third. Um, here, let me show you guys. It will stack, actually stack two nice stacks there. After 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 you use the elemental skill, so that's basically why. So I so I, this is this is what I would use uh, two pieces of the uh, heart fist and two pieces of tendon of millet. So it will be the best. But if you guys are more of a um, type of like using a support on him, okay, where the where the bill I'm looking for. Um, if you guys are more of a support than uh, noble of bliss, is going to be always going to be the best one anyway. A two piece do an elemental burst damage by 20%, but four pieces will actually, after using the elemental burst, it will increase all party number attack by 20% for 12 seconds. Attack, and it says also it cannot affect, it cannot actually stack, and I will explain why too, but before that, so using this skill, it actually increases all your party number by attack by 20%, and also Ayato, if you use his ultimate, because any, anyone who actually stand in his ultimate. It will actually increase normal attack bonus damage there, and it lasts for 20 seconds. Endurance only lasts for 18 seconds. That, then yes, that's that's something else too. But you will actually deal more damage when you're in there. It's, it's actually meaning like um, if you use this skill and you switch to a different character, you will actually 
gain that uh, that uh, that bonus damage too. Not just the uh, other party number, but your own party number too. As long as they're in the field. So that will be a good support the build for Ayato if you're trying to go for more of support for him, but he he is a DPS support anyway. But I but he mainly a DPS. That's why I've decided to go for the build two piece of the heart of the Heart of the Death and uh, two piece of uh, Tentative of a Millet. You guys want to do more of an elemental skill damage. And you guys are, and for a thing that, and you want the stacks build. If you guys go for a Heart of the Death or anything, it's just, it's just basically the same thing. So the flower is basically like, um, mainly the, the main stacks are always going to be hit points. But you want the sub stacks though. Sub stacks, I will actually recommend getting that HP too. Because you are in well HP percentage because this is not HP percentage at all. You can get another HP anyway, so HP percentage will be another one there. And you also can get a quick rate, quick damage near one of them, depending on what kind of build you have there. So I'm actually building a more of a quick rate, quick damage. But if you gotta go more of a support, I'll say basically a hit point and NG recharge will be already the best way. And for a better here, main attack will be attack already. And the same thing, you can get, go for the same thing what I just said there. But for stand up for the hourglass here, your main damage they have is hit point, attack, defense, elemental mastery, and she recharge. There, there are actually several ways you can build this one. You can actually go for attack, but if you go for um more of an elemental burst, you go for the more support, and she recharge. Would be the best, but I would go for me. I would go. I would use hit point, but if you go for support and energy recharge. But if you like more of a DPS, I would go for hit points. For that, you guys are you guys wondering? You guys elemental skill. I would go more elemental skill damage way, or I'll just build him with attack. And I say build him with attack if you have a C6 on him. <laughs> okay. C6 will be actually the best if you use an attack because it will scale up for the attack and hit point will not scale up at all because well you are unlocked the C6 anyway. Uh, for hit for hit cup though, I will go for a hydro damage bonus here. With a uh, with sub stack with HP and quick damage and quick rate. And another one, well, who knows? My, maybe you, you might well try to get a another HP instead too because this is HP percentage so you can get another HP in here like HP in points not percentage a crown here you can go for many option on this one but I will I will go for crit rate if you do not have enough crit rate I would just get the crit rate like somewhere around 40% that's why I always do but I always, I always keep my character up to 50% or higher if I do have enough I will go for crit damage instead and I also plan to get his sword. His sword actually increased his quick rate, so I actually go might well go for quick damage on this one. If you do not, if you do not have enough quick rate, then go for it. Until you have enough, then you can switch to it to have quick more more quick damage. Substacks so the same thing at the hourglass as you were thinking. So speaking of a weapon and a sword, you can this is there's gonna be a several option you can use a sword on him for. I will actually look, I've been searching around looking for stuff and trying to find out which sword would be the best news for him. And I'll and uh, one one sword here you can actually use though. Uh, if you if you want to if you do want to get a sword, this one one this this will be a good one too. Royal longsword. It is just a main attack is going to, main it's going to be a stack anyway. Uh, so upon the attacking opponent, it will it will increase the quick rate. By eight percent, maximum five stack. We'll move all quick rate on on opponent hit. So I don't, I don't it's very say it's gonna be a best one, but that's a, that's what can be a start. Flash alley can be good, but to increase elemental mastery, so you don't need really need to do that. Black the black sword will be actually your best. I don't know how you get this one. Um, I think you can get it in uh, during the. Uh, I think you can get it in the B shop. I'm not too too sure about that. You have to pay real money. I heard it in the B shop. <laughs> So it increased damage here by normal charge attack by 20% and, and also additionally regenerate 60% of attack at HP on normal charge attack, scoring quick rate, scoring hit, it's like quick hit, 
The effect only occurs every 5 seconds, and like I already mentioned, elemental skill will increase, also uh, in the bonus, also increase bonus by uh, depending on the current HP. So if your HP is very low, then it will, <clears throat> then that that uh, extra <clears throat> that bonus damage will be less because it's current HP. If you if you have like max HP, it will deal a lot. If you have low, then it will deal less. It's just a bonus though. But it's a bonus, it's actually a very good bonus, I have to say. <coughs> and another sword you can use actually in, in here is also the Sword of Ascendant. <coughs> you, only, you only can get the sword then when you have a using a PlayStation uh, network. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Okay, there was something in my throat, and plus I'm not going to work today because my neck hurts. So that also affected my throat too for some reason. Um, so, like I already mentioned, the sword is sent here. You already can get this sword if you use a PlayStation Network. I think you actually you got that sword and you're good to go. But I don't need a sword that I don't really care. I do have a PlayStation 4 though. Hitting an opponent with a normal charge attack will gain a 50% chance of dealing 200% attack at damage in a small AoE. It also affects every curve every 10 seconds. Travel quick to the sword of ascent will increase the attack by 66. Okay. So you, you can use it for any character, but if you equip it on your main character as Traveler, it will actually increase attack by uh, by increasing by 66. So I say it's actually good if you have a Traveler to use. So yeah, you might want to equip that to a Traveler or else get to equip it to your care, other character. And also, you, this sword, Infesting Desire, you actually can get this uh, by playing, playing through the, the event. I think it, I think it, the event is in, in 1.2. I think you still can get it right now, I'm not too sure, though. But there are some sword you can only get it, get it in the event, in event end, then you can't get it no more. I, I'm not sure about this sword, though. But this sword, it says Infesting the Desire, it's actually uh, main, main uh, going to be attack, and uh, such a dare stacks are going to be NG recharge. So it increased elemental skill damage by 16% and elemental skill crit rate by 6%. It's actually a good sword to use because it increased elemental skill damage, which I really like. <laughs> but other thing that you also can use this sword, you can actually craft a sword in uh, the um, the blacksmith. Casting elemental skill in the is going to be one seed, and it's actually, and I mentioned already, the seed is already going to help you regenerate your NG recharge anyway. So, if that's the sword you want to use, you might well just use it like temporarily. The best sword for use in order to go for the elemental skill damage is going to be this sword, Primordial J Cutter. You got, you, it's, this sword is actually very good if you go if you use it in a two piece of the Italian of a Millis. So it increase your hit points and also also it help you increase more hit points. I do I do not have the sword. I did try to grab it, but I fail. You guys are wondering, and this is and also a good sword. It's also a mid splitter reforge. This is actually a Ayaka main weapon. It's also good for Ayato too, but it's mainly good for Ayaka. If you're wondering, because this skill actually helps his, uh, it increases it uh, it also increased elemental damage bonus here by twelve percent. Uh, so uh, so yeah, I also can actually, actually can be good too. To, during the state, he can actually can deal normal damage and do it by. He can actually can uh, like deal hydro damage with a normal attack damage. And you use your elements of skill first. Sorry, I have a, I have a second monitor in here, so that's why it's kind of like that's why my mouse kind of moving swiftly, so I couldn't really focus much. And uh, here, here his main weapon. His, this, this is the main weapon in the beta. It's still, a, it's still a beta right now. So that's why it's, this is, this is why it shows. But until it comes out, then it will show the main one. That's why I'm saying I like, I'm gonna do a um another video of this. So this one is actually, it's actually um one of his base attack is going, is going to be attack and secondary. It's going to be crit rate. So it's actually a good sword. And it's also say attain 12%. All elemental skill bonus when other party number use elemental skill. Then the character equipped with the weapon will gain one waste stack stacks here, maximum two stack. This effect can occur every 0.3 second when the character equipped with weapon using elemental skill. All stack of waste stack will consume and drift away the opportunity. It will also help. It also consume waste stack to also increase 
uh, no more attack damage by 20% for 8 seconds is actually one of the good skills too. You can use an elemental boost to also increase more. And actually good for a support build too because you also try to increase more damage. It also works for a party number here. So that's why I'm saying. Then, yeah, if I look closely at it, I don't, I don't know if it's going to work on party number or not. But, but it, 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 it's good if it did, but I'm probably assuming not because it's still in beta. So it's not really 100% uh, guaranteed yet. But he is a DPS, so I highly doubt it's going to be working party number. I think it worked for himself, so he is a DPS. So for himself, it's going to squeeze more normal da attack damage by 20%. Let's correct that. So hope this video helps, hope this guy helps with what kind of build you want to use before he comes out. Uh, yep, I'll restart doing a other thing while I'm around and I'll try to I'll do a, I'll try to do a multi-stream like so based on Twitch and YouTube, but I'll be main main channel right now gonna be YouTube, so I'll be live streaming the, the until then and now until I get everything set up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope this video helped. If it did help, leave a like on here. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll catch you guys on my next video man. Peace out, y'all.